Alright guys, England and the USA have just played that 0-0 draw and it feels like I'm covering a lot of 0-0 draws in this tournament. I think I've made six videos on uh, like single games during this tournament and I think three of them have been, now been 0-0s, Mexico, Poland and Morocco, Croatia being the other ones. So this, for a tournament that's been quite dramatic so far, there have been a few 0-0s. But yeah, um, disappointing game for England, it just never got going at all, um, quite a negative performance, only two shots on target I think throughout the game, and even both of them were fairly tame, and yeah, I, I don't know what the, more England or, or Southgate could really do in this situation, because I think it, it, the easy option is to criticise Southgate in this circumstance, but I, I don't think you should. Because our USA, they're a very um, energetic side and definitely press well as a team. They're well oiled and, um, you know, no, no, everyone knows what their role is in the team, basically. And if you look at their midfield three of uh, Musa, um, Tyler Adams and McKenney, three very hard working players and they were throughout the game. In, in fact, they had the better at far midfield at times. Um, so yeah, they, they, they did play really well USA and were by far the best side in, in from probably the, they, if there was one team to, you, I don't know, win the game, it would probably be USA. They definitely came the closest with uh, Pulisic rattling the bar in the first half. Um, but yeah, just not, not, England's best performance by, by a long stretch. Um, the, none of the attacking players really excelled. In fact, our best attacking player was probably Jack Grealish coming off the bench. He was the only one who really picked up the ball and he, he felt, OK, he's about to do something with it. And he, he did on a couple of occasions. Um, it didn't really ever come to anything, but he was the only player that left you with that impression, really. Sterling was fairly anonymous. Saka had a decent start to the game, but after about 15 minutes seemed to disappear. Kane had a couple of efforts, but the, the, it, he either got blocked or went wide. Should have done better with his chance later on the header. Needed to get that on target, and if he had to got it on target, nine times out of ten he'd have scored. Um, so yeah, he should have done better with that. In fact, England's best player for me was Harry Maguire in defence. He prevented what could have been a couple of USA goals at times um, where they were like only a pass away from having a tapping or uh, defer uh, defending a dangerous uh, corner that they, they had put in. So fair play to him because he was the one that everyone was questioning before the tournament should he be in the starting eleven because he's been in poor form and he hasn't even played that much this season. But since he has played in the past two games for England he's looked solid. Um, okay, there, there was one moment in the Iran game where we did concede where he, he you know, was partly at fault. But other than that, he, he's been fine, really. Got an assist against Iran as well for Saka's goal. But yeah, um, it, yeah, it just just poor performances all round, really, in England's attack. Um, so there's, there's not really that much more to say. It's just one of them, really, I, I think. Um, that there, there was just a real lack of intensity uh, that, that we did have against Iran. But the thing, the key thing to remember is Iran and USA are two very different opponents. Iran, um, that they, they tried to defend against us. USA, they tried to not like go all out attack, but they, they did try and attack us, and uh, did, did you know didn't give us any time on the ball, which we, I don't think we're really used to. To be completely honest. Um, so, yeah, th th there have been loads of people already uh, saying that England needs to make changes in their next game against Wales. I'm not so sure, because Wales, they they, they looked very, you know, tired. They, they didn't look like a team that was full of energy. And I think if we are coming up against that, I would probably start a very similar start in 11. OK, maybe you could argue possibly uh, Rashford or Grealish in for Sterling, or because he... he, he you know, really didn't get involved at all tonight. Um, but the one, the one per performer tonight that I really wasn't um, impressed with was Mason Mount. Uh, Mason Mount's a player I really like, but uh, I, I just thought in this game he was he was getting involved, which I mean, you, you 
credit him for that, but um, he, he was giving the ball away very often, he, he, he making poor decisions when it came to uh, whether it was something like releasing the ball or his, his actual choice of pass uh, at times but would be a little bit off or his execution. So yeah, he, he had a relatively poor game, but even so, I'd still keep him in the starting eleven for the next game because he he, he does have quality. Um, so I I I wouldn't. I, I know everyone will be you know ah oh, of course Southgate's stuck with his favourites when when the lineup comes out against Wales on Tuesday, but I, I don't think I would change that much um, because it, 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 Wales are going to be a similar team, a more similar team to come up against. Um, to Iran than USA were. So I, I think keep the same start in 11, and I think Southgate will. So I'm, I'm not too bothered by that. But credit where it's credit's due to, where, uh, to USA, sorry. They, they deserved, if, if anything, probably slightly more than a point. Um, they, they, they were the better side overall in, in the game, and they're, they're, you know the intensity they played with. Um, just was really impressive. Um, so yeah, that that's made this group really interesting now because anyone can go through. Wales can still go through. They they obviously need to beat England, which is un you think is unlikely now that England need to win, and they also need USA versus Iran to be a draw. So Wales it's it's not looking good for, but um, yeah, it's it's still a anyone's to go through. Um, it's it's in England's hands. Well, it's, it, yeah, it's not in Wales' hands. It, the, Wales are the only team who it's not in their hands, but it's still possible they could go through. So, yeah, this group has been uh, quite a competitive group, maybe not the most uh, exciting at times, but it, it's not not um, been, you know, an, an easy one to call by any means. Um, so, yeah, it, it will be interesting to see. And th there's also been the argument of, um, it is Southgate really that fussed about, you know, um, blitzing everybody in this group? Because once again, like the last World Cup, there is the uh, like, you know, scenario where if England do win this group, it is potentially harder for them in the knockout stages. So maybe second place would be the better thing. But I, I just think you got to try and win the group because that put, one that puts a statement out there too. It gives the fans more belief, and three, um, you know, if, if you want to win the tournament, which let's face it, it's got to be England saying they're a good side, and I, I'm not saying if if we don't win it, oh, it's an automatic disappointment. But I'm just saying that's got to be the aim. Then you've got to, you know, you've got to be able to come up against anyone and feel as though you can win this. You can't just. Um, Go, go for the easy option and try and avoid all the big teams because at some point or another in the semi-finals or the final England are going to have to come up against a bit and beat a big team if they want to win the World Cup um, and uh, by the way I, I don't think for one second that South hits playing for second place um, I just think it tonight was just um, a poor performance uh, one that was comparable to what England showed in the Nations League uh, in, in the summer so yeah want to forget for England, but it, it, even then, it, it's, it's not been a, hor a horrendous night for England, it's a nil-nil draw, it was just a boring game, didn't concede, and but just didn't, didn't you know, offer very much an attack, was the only real downside, um, so yeah, anyway, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.